So in yesterday's web dev tip, we set up the allowed URLs and generated the options for the select element on the page uh, to give the user a choice of where they're going to send uh, a user uh, when a Rickroll is created. Uh, but we didn't actually send that to the back end API. And we're going to need to do that because in the following tutorials, we're going to work on the back end service uh, to actually accept the uh, URL that has been provided, uh, the selection uh, from the user, uh, so that the uh, ultimate redirect will send the user to that video. So this is pretty simple. We just need to go into our code uh, and make sure when we send the post request that we're sending the user's choice. So let's go over to our TypeScript code here. And if we just uh, go down into this section where we're clicking the button uh, to send the post request, this is when the user's creating a new Rickroll, uh, we can send with this post request some data. And that goes on to a pop property uh, called body. And in this body, we can send some JSON. Uh, it does need to be a, a stringified object. And inside of there is all the data that will, will be sent to the backend API, which we can then pick up and deal with and put into the database as we need to. So what are we going to send in this body property? Uh, well, we're going to send uh, the value that has been selected from this selected target HTML element. So that's the select box that the user makes a choice in. So all we need to do really is to first of all get the value. So we'll say the uh, selected target uh, value is equal to the selected target dot value. So this is just taking the value of the option that the user selected. Uh, so if you remember from yesterday's, uh, tutorial we created options and we set the value equal to uh, the URL that has been uh, put into the allowed URLs array. Okay so from there we've got uh, the value that of the URL that the user has chosen uh, we can just send that in the body uh, we'll just create a new body variable here and it's basically going to be the object and we'll just say the selected target value uh, is going to be the property which will have the value of the URL. Uh, but as I mentioned, it does need to be stringified as well. So you can see TypeScript's uh, complaining a little bit here at the moment because we're trying to set a uh, body property, which is an object. Uh, so we can just call the stringify ob uh, function from JavaScript here and JSON stringify and then close the braces there. And so now when we actually send a post request, we're going to pick out the value uh, from the select element and then post it to the back end as well, uh, which again won't do anything because we haven't done anything on the back end, but we will do that in the following tutorial. Uh, but let's test that out. Let's go over to our app again. And as you can see, the uh, the previous request that we made, it didn't have a payload, it didn't have a body to it. Uh, so let's just change this to uh, one of the other videos and click the create button again. And if you see down here uh, in the second request that's been made, we've now got a payload tab uh, because you can see we're set sending a body of selected target value uh, and that is the URL that is associated with this particular video. So that's all we need to do on the front end now. The allowed URLs are being generated and we're actually passing those back to the API as well. In the following tutorials, we'll look at the API itself and be able to pick out that selected target value, uh, insert it into the database so that the user is redirected to the uh, previous user's chosen video. Uh, but that's it for this tutorial. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.